When it comes to special needs ministry, there's always one thing that matters most, how we train our volunteers. Join us today as we take a look at how to find the holes in our training. Hey there, wow, that's a lot of donuts. Are you carbo loading? Oh, you had a training meeting this morning and you got donuts for each of your volunteers and these are the leftovers? So, not the turnout you hoped? Did you mention the training was mandatory? Hmm. Well, it's okay. It's not always easy to train our teams. I've been there too. Come to think of it, why don't you pass me one of those donuts? Equipping volunteers, finding the holes in training. When it comes to creating special needs ministry, the most important thing that leaders can do is equip their teams through training. After all, it's the volunteers, not the leaders, who are the hands and feet of the ministry. But making sure that all your volunteers understand how to serve with children who have disabilities isn't always easy. So how can we make sure that our volunteers are ready to serve our students? Well, it starts with identifying the holes in our training practices. Hole number one, expecting people to remember everything. So we all know how important it is to train volunteers before they serve with children, and the truth is no matter how you do this, one-on-one, -on -one, small groups, or even online training, there's one thing that most leaders have in common. We hope everyone will remember everything we said. If only it worked that way. <laughs> but the truth is that for every volunteer who comes armed with paper and glitter pen ready to take notes, there'll be another volunteer, just like me, who's getting distracted by that glitter pen. And as leaders, it's important that we understand how to reach all types of volunteers. One way to do this is to change your expectations for the meeting. Instead of trying to pack everything in at once, just focus on the basics. Go over policies, answer any questions, and give a general introduction on positive behavior support foundations. But let your volunteers know that you don't expect them to remember everything they heard today. And that's okay because they'll go home with a training manual that will have all of the ministry policies, expectations, and leader contact numbers written in it along with a summary of foundational support skills. Now I know what you're thinking. That's great, but what about those people who will never open that manual again? How will they know what to do when they serve? Thanks for asking this. I feel like you get me. The manual matters because we need to have all the important information in writing and we need to know that we did our best to equip each person. But there's something else that matters too, so grab your glitter pen and pay attention to what's next. Hole number two, expecting people to remember anything on the spot. Sometimes special needs ministry means students will display unexpected behaviors. This can be intimidating. For volunteers who are just learning how to serve with children who have disabilities, it can be really hard to remember the training they learned on the spot. So it's our job to help them cheat. Cheat sheets are bullet point instructions that cover important information and are placed in areas where volunteers know where to find them, quickly. These instructions can be made as posters, found in binders, or my personal favorite, Just For Me books. Just For Me books are small do-it-yourself booklets that have all the information that a teacher or buddy would need to know in order to serve a child who has a disability. These books are made out of small photo albums and include a child's photo, visual routine, and any personal information, such as his likes, dislikes, or any positive behavior support skill that works well for him. These books should be kept in an easy to access place and volunteers should be encouraged to go over them before the service begins. These little reminders make a big difference. Now before we go into hole number three, there's one more way to help new volunteers that you won't want to miss. Shadowing. Every time it's possible, try to have a new volunteer shadow a parent, leader, or volunteer who has more experience a few times before serving on their own. This will help them really learn what to do. It's the hands down best way to help train volunteers. Goal number three, expecting training to be for meetings only. The last thing to know about volunteer training is that it never stops. While it's great to have a few donut heavy training meetings a year, also be ready to give individual gentle reminders throughout the year. This is especially important with special needs ministry because each child is unique and not every aspect of training can be covered in one session. So check in with your team often, ask them if they have anything they would like to learn more about, and make it a practice to evaluate team members as they serve. If you see they're struggling, step in and help them in the moment. They'll be glad you did. Wow, that was a lot to chew on. 
there's one more thing before you go. Instead of always asking volunteers to come to training, challenge yourself to think how you can bring the training to your volunteers. People learn best a little at a time over time, so make it a habit to include regularly scheduled mini trainings throughout the year. It can be as easy as asking volunteers to meet a few minutes before service and show a short training video. Not only is this a great way to check in with your team, but volunteers can apply what they learn right away. If you need some fast, fun, and free volunteer training videos, well, I know just the place. If you'd like to download a training manual template, please join our Facebook group and you can download the resources from this unit. Thanks for joining us.